You want to know when you'll stop experiencing temptations? When you're six feet underground. I remember hearing this from a priest one time and thinking, wow, Father, that's a little morbid, but good point. Temptations are a harsh reality of our imperfect fallen nature. We will always experience them, especially when it comes to something as good and beautiful as our sexuality. So what do we do? What do we do with our temptations? First off, don't panic. Seriously, you haven't done anything wrong in being tempted. Temptations are not sins. It's about how we respond and choose to act that will determine whether or not we fall. We're tempted in a thousand different ways. Let's jump into some practicals as to how we can avoid temptation in our life. First, we have to be smarter than we are virtuous. God has given us the ability to will good and choose virtue, but he's also given us an intellect. So don't just react, think. From the person who has practiced chastity for 30 years to the person who's starting today, we aren't as virtuous as we think, and we don't always make the right decisions, and we need to be really honest with ourselves, especially in our relationships. Secondly is avoid the near occasion of sin. The truth is, we can't afford to put ourselves in the situations that we sometimes find ourselves in. In order to avoid sin, we must know our temptation. Thirdly, frequent the sacraments. We have been given the sacraments as a gift from God. The Eucharist, our greatest gift, is instant grace, the pinnacle of the Christian life. But there's more. The sacrament of reconciliation or confession, not only are we reconciled back to the Father, but we actually receive grace and strength to avoid sin in our lives. The reality is that we will fall, but it's a matter of not remaining in our sorrow or shame. Finally, have someone you can talk to about your struggles. It can be difficult to be vulnerable with another person, especially about the ways that we're tempted or the ways we've fallen. But trust me, when you allow yourself to open up to a trusted friend, a mentor, a relative, or even a priest, you will experience real joy and you'll be empowered to stand. Pursuing a life of greatness isn't all about never failing or never making mistakes. It's about being able to take a hit and to stand back up. So fight the good fight and keep the faith, for I am sure that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. In the words of Father Mike Schmitz, rewrite the script. Father has a great video out with Ascension Press where he talks about avoiding impurity. The video is very helpful in the area of avoiding sin. Go check it out.